John, and then Tom Brew with Stevie. Uh, Coach Allen was talking about that you guys installed that uh, kind of quarterback wildcat type of deal, you know, during the week for Maryland. I mean, why do you think it was so successful in picking up the yards for you guys? I know it, like the quarterback motions out, takes a linebacker out, and things like that. But why, why would why do you think it was so successful? Uh, definitely because in practice we ran it a lot in practice just to get everything down packed and get, make sure we can execute the play. So when it comes to the game, we can be able to run it with no worries. And I felt like you know. Practice makes perfect, and every time we ran it, it just felt like practice. <clears throat> all right, Tom, and then Stefan. Stevie, was, is, is that package sort of been there all along and you just hadn't gotten to it, or was it uh, was that something all really just brand new for this game? Uh, it's something that we've been working on, you know, for the start of the season. We just never kind of really got into it, but it was just something that me and a, a lot of the REs were pointing at uh, Coach Sheridan in the air that, we, you know, I feel like that's something different we can run with the offense. Stefan and then Matt. With Mike struggling a little bit early on, I mean, what were you, Tim, David, maybe telling each other on the sidelines, you know, try to get the offense going, whether it be through the running game or the passing game? Uh, really just everybody knowing their assignments at the end of the day and just going out there and making plays, being a, a playmaker. You know, if our quarterback is doing bad, then it's just, you know, it's, all, it's our job is to help uplift him and just try to put the team on our back and try to make as many plays as we can until, you know, he could get fired up again and then get things rolling. Matt and then Kevin? Hey, Stevie, when, you, when you're in that kind of the wildcat and you're taking the snap, I guess how much of an advantage is it that you can maybe kind of pick where you're going? I mean, you did some, a really good job of kind of cutting some runs back and getting some extra yards. Is that a product of that kind of where you can just kind of pick where you want to go or is that is that even in play at all when it comes to that, to the wildcat? Yeah, it's kind of like a pipe to cut back play. I actually love that formation. That's something that I was very excited that Coach Sheridan added to the playbook. It's really just, you know, a pipe to cut back and just, a zone play, just reading, reading the holes and the gaps and wherever you see a, a, you know, a crease in, just hit it, try to make a play. I feel like that's what I was doing. Kevin and Zach. Yes, Stevie, it seems like every time Tim Baldwin gets an opportunity, he takes advantage of it. Just uh, how have you seen his growth from here to now? And uh, what, uh, how important is he going to be going forward now with Samson out? Man, when Tim, you know, he, he knows how to play his role. I could definitely say that, you know, Whenever his name is called, he's just always eager and always just trying to come make a play, you know, just being a, bit, a great player and a great team player. So I feel like Tim is doing a great job of just coming in and just, you know, running the ball, protecting the ball, and pass prone whenever he has to. And I feel like he's just been picking up since he got here in the in the spring until, until today. So I feel like he's learned a lot from each and every one, uh, running back plus Coach Hart, and he's definitely taking it in the key and it's, it's showing. Paul and then Zach. Hey, Stevie, talk, talk a little bit about <clears throat> the adjustments that you guys made at the half to get the offense going, and then your thoughts on uh, on how Tuttle came in and played. Uh, honestly, we've seen that uh, our passing game wasn't really going too well. So we've seen that uh, running the ball-wise, we, we were doing pretty good. So we felt like coming out in the second half, we just had to run the ball hard and strong and just keep grinding it out for those tough yards, and eventually they'll, they'll pop. And as you can see, some pop for me and Tim, and we just was trying to just make the most out of it. And then, you know, once Mike had went down and Toto came in, I feel like Toto came in and was real poised and just real confident in what he was doing, just going out there and just playing his type of game and knowing that he, what he's capable of and he can make a play at any given moment. And just him believing in himself and us believing in him just to help him, you know, stay positive and, and be very confident. So I, I definitely feel like the Toto came in, played his role well, and helped us, helped us also get to the, uh, the victory. All right, Zach, last one for Steve. I guess asking about the defense and, and I guess to some extent just your confidence level in it as an offensive player, but even maybe more so. Coach Allen talks about the way this defense creates takeaways, makes big plays. How much of that shows up in practice? I mean, have you ever, I guess, given the ball away to the defense in practice? How how kind of ball hungry are those guys in terms of interceptions and fumbles and things like that? Man, those, those guys are ball, uh, just, just ball hungry every time. Especially uh, fall camp, they, they they did a great job at uh, ripping at the ball consistently, just making sure I keep that ball high and tight, and just you know always going after the ball just to make sure I just make 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 it translate to a game. So I feel like defense does a great job trying to get takeaways. That's something they practice every day in practice, and really uh, focus their defense on is getting takeaways. So you know the offense could try to capitalize off of off of uh, what they did, and then we just feed off each other energy. So I feel like that's something defense has been working on all year. 
even since last year. And I feel like it's definitely coming into play with the defense and they just been balling out and it's just very fun watching the defense go out there and make plays and just have fun at the end of the day. Hey Stevie, one more. Tom Brew, last one. Stevie, you guys just wrapped up the the entire Big Ten East portion of your schedule and you went five and one. From a big picture standpoint, is this what you guys have been talking about for a year or two about taking that next step and, and working your way up the ladders to where this program belongs? Definitely, for sure. This was something that me and my guys talked about since I since I got to IU since my freshman year and just seeing this program change and the athletes have been bringing in just to help to change this culture has been, you know, very exciting feeling. And I feel like, you know, we're still breaking through. At the end of the day, we still have to finish the season strong and just play play every game with no worries and just a positive mindset and just with confidence to know that we could go out and dominate any team and just got to keep striving for greatness at the end of the day. Thank you, Stevie. Thank you, guys.